What's up you guys, how's it going? I'm gonna post another Partner Corner video. Really excited about this one. We've got Jason from Daydream, which is a surf shop and coffee shop down in Newport Beach, uh, just outside of LA. You might recognize Jason, and he's a he's one of the OG Cat and Cloud team members who is now um, running the coffee program for Daydream. Yeah, I had the, the pleasure to work with Jason a lot back in the early days of Cat and Cloud, and um, he's just a really rad dude who cares a lot about his community and the people around him. So yeah, really excited. Here's Jason. He's gonna tell you all about how stuff has been going down at Daydream. Jason, what up? How's it going? All, uh, all you folks over at Cat and Cloud, Alex, Chris, Jared, the whole gang, everybody watching this vlog. Um, this is Jason, a uh, beverage director at Daydream Surf Shop. Uh, we're in Newport Beach, California. Um, we're a surf shop, vintage shop, and multi-roaster. Uh, Cat and Cloud is one of uh, our uh, primary roasters that we work with domestically. Um, making this little recording for this uh, vlog to talk about how we're dealing with all the craziness of this pandemic and such. Um, we're listening to some Hailu Mergia to stay positive at the time. Uh, some good jams, you should check them out. Really rad Ethiopian artist. Yeah, so I guess we'll kick off some of these questions. How's everything going right now? Things are going kind of weird. Um, you know, our shop is very much a come in and hang out kind of shop. Um, our community likes to spend a lot of time there, so it's really weird not having it filled with people. Um, but you know, we're doing the best we can. Um, and we've still been feeling a lot of support from, from our people. Like, I feel like we're one of the only places in the world that, uh, our customers like being at so much that they decide that they should hang out in the parking lot since they can't hang out inside. Um, so really, really warms my heart to see that kind of stuff how we've responded to this and like the steps that we've taken, like that led us to wanting to stay open. I mean, that's an easy one. Like we have to stay open. There's, there's no real option for us to close, um, you know, both for like the sake of the business and for the sake of our employees. Um, that, that was never like a, an option that we put on the table. We were going to be open no matter what, you know, we've had to trim a little bit of hours. Uh, we've cut out our mid shift altogether. So at most there's only two people working at a time rather than three. Our staff has been, you know, really understanding and, uh, everybody's still working. You know, we've started doing mobile ordering, which is not something that we're a huge fan of, uh, but something that's necessary at the time. We feel like it kind of, uh, takes away from the the experience the human experience of um of ordering and like being in a coffee shop but it's something that's necessary in these in these times we've also started doing growlers of like batched out uh flash brew iced coffee as well as iced lattes um bigger ones for iced coffee smaller ones for iced lattes people can get those uh they pay like a you know upfront growler fee plus the the price of the drinks and then um they can come back and get refills uh for cheaper that way they can have some at home if you know they're not comfortable going out too often and things like that we've also uh took a play out of uh, andy town's book another ro uh, roaster that we work with up in san francisco um they were doing a really rad thing where people could essentially buy coffee through them for uh the local hospital so um people have been buying coffee through us for local fire departments uh through our good friend alex swanson over at uh santa Ana uh, fire department and we're going to be expanding to a couple more locations as well which is really cool um seen a ton of support for that kind of stuff um, people have been really willing to give, you know, both to, to, to them and to us, like for as like, you know, little interaction as there's been, like people have been tipping insanely, uh, to our baristas, which is really cool to see, you know, we've been pushing, uh, you know, more of these ideas on our, on our Instagram, which is our really, our only like media outlet, um, you know, encouraging people to, uh, also sign up for our subscription plan. We have, um, you know, I, I put together a coffee subscription plan. There's a couple different options and you get sent a bag of coffee a month, depending on your option. Some of our other partners have been doing really rad things. Uh, Onyx has this amazing um, program that they're running with all of their wholesale accounts where essentially every wholesale account got a discount code. And if anybody goes and buys anything on Onyx's website, using that discount code, the customer gets 5% off and we get 15% of what they pay. It's just a ridiculously generous profit sharing idea that Onyx put together to help support their wholesale accounts. Um, just another thing, you know, showing how big a leaders they are in our industry. We've uh, uh, done some fun stuff with our furniture in the shop since people can't sit in it. We've had um, local artists come by and rearrange it into uh, different installations. Outlook on life uh, and everything right now is just trying to stay positive. 
not stressing about the stuff that we can't change. Uh, you know, we don't really have control over how any of this goes. Um, so we're just trying to stay positive and keep looking for more solutions um, and keep trying to be here for our community. Uh, a lot of people have been coming by and essentially telling us that like coming by the shop is the only normal thing that they've gotten to do in a long time. And it's the only, sometimes the only human interaction that they're having in the day, um, like at least face to face. Um, and so we're doing our best to, to maintain normal hours for everybody um, and maintain a normal menu, everything like that. Uh, so that there's at least some like semblance of like a normal life for, for people, like just a little bit for them. Things that I miss most about the, the shop before and that I look forward to most is, is having people back in the shop. Um, our shop's a very lively one. We have our, our community spends a lot of time in the shop, like throughout the day, uh, and throughout the week. And I miss like, I miss that raucousness of when everybody's in the shop and it's loud and fun. And for me is like the most important part of our shop. And it's really like what our mission is, is like building community through the crafts that we're a part of. Um, and it's, it's hard to do that in these times, you know? So, um, really looking forward to having that back, um, in my daily life, uh, stuff that I miss the most. I miss like going out to places that I enjoy. I miss going to Hopper and Burr on every Friday, which is like my, my day off routine. I go over there, have toast and some coffee. Um, you know, I miss going out to some, you know, cool places to grab drinks and food and stuff like that. Um, and just, you know, being out and about, uh, and, you know, visiting businesses that I really enjoy. Um, so I will be back at all of those places as soon as I possibly can be. Um, and I'm supporting remotely as much as I can now. If you're looking to find us, Daydream Surf Shop, uh, that's our that's our handle on Instagram. Um, mine is Party on Garth, Party on Wayne. Uh, it's about all the social media that we have going on. Um, you can check out our website. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff on there. Um, couple uh blog posts and stuff some surf focused some coffee focused um you know we're working on spending more time um putting input into that there's not a lot of space to be creative within the cafe right now so we're trying to find ways to be creative outside of that and through media shout outs to people i feel like i've already mentioned some really rad places you know um obviously you guys cat and cloud but um say andy town and and onyx uh you know everybody's doing some really cool things for their people in their own ways um, I need to shout out to our international roasters that we, uh, Bonanza, the barn, um, white label, uh, April, like everybody's still out there doing their best, um, for their communities across the globe. Uh, and we can't wait to have you guys back in our shop again to our local community. Um, you know, neat, uh, hopper and burr, bad coffee, uh, um, common room, moon goat, like all of you guys have been doing a really rad job. Um, everybody's been banding together to put together like a, um, a community t-shirt and mug that we're all sharing the profits of all you guys keep it up. Um, and then just like the, the people in our community, like, you know, West side Costa Mesa, Newport, and like the, the community that we reach, you know, both like throughout the state, the country and like globally, we really appreciate, um, you guys still coming in or like, you know, ordering remotely ordering online, like it really, really helps us out um, because these aren't the easiest of times and we know they're not easy for you too. Um, but but thank you guys so much. And uh, Alex, Cat and Cloud, thank you guys for, for having me. Um, you know, so much love to all of you guys. Uh, thanks. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Partner Corner. I'm really excited to keep these coming as people keep sending me more and more. What do you guys want to know about? What do you, what do you, what do you want to see on this channel? Tell me. Tell me a little bit. Tell me down in the comments. Tell me. No, but for real, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on just, you know, what kind of content do you want to see on here? I'm, I'm just I'm just cruising along, doing my thing. But, uh, you know, if there's something you guys got an itch for, maybe I can help you scratch it. That sounded weird. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll catch you on the tube next time. All right. See you guys.